This here is another piece for the, uh, the Houdini room in Detroit uh, for fifth wall. Uh, this is a spirometer. Uh, spirometry, by the way, is the measure of lung strength, um, which is something that I learned doing this because I, I think Mark knew, but I don't know. I can't read. Anyway, um, this right here is, is just a box at the moment, and it is one that I confess I didn't do a whole lot of filming on. Um, <laughs> So this is just a box, um, fairly simple. It is solid oak, so it is durable and the public proof, or at least the public resistant, because nothing, nothing is quite bulletproof and nothing is the public proof. So uh, with this game, you're going to uh, you're going to get your nice, clean new hoses, and they will attach to uh, this this little wonderful thing uh, that came off of a uh, old uh, pressure valve or pressure gauge, uh, and based on some of the engraving on the back of it, it was from at least 1940. Um, so that's pretty cool. He's going to mount up under there. You will have to blow into one of your, uh, your hoses that you get from some other point in the game. Uh, that will go up inside the box and this will blow on a fan that the uh, microcontroller will measure how fast that fan is going and then move a gauge, which will be in this housing accordingly. And if you can maintain the right, uh, the right pressure for the right amount of time, then you will receive fabulous prizes from behind door number only. Um, so we're going to put this together and kind of explain some of the bits uh, as we go. All right, I got a bucket of parts here and hopefully I remember where they go. All right, ship it. Uh, first thing I want to put on just because I don't want to have big floppy door and this whole thing on the bottom if I'm going to be moving it around more is going to be the gauge. This is the gauge bezel that came off of this gauge that we got way back when for I don't remember why. Uh, uh, broke that down and uh, cleaned it up. Uh, there was a near-death experience on this vital retaining ring that uh, Anna used her metallurgical arts to bring back from the dead. So this is like zombie brass right now. Anna has a background in jewelry making or something like that. Uh, build up order. And this has all been mount, pre-mounted before the finish so that it should go together. Uh, I did run into a problem, this being oak, and I wanted to use brass screws because brass consistency. Um, you've really got to pilot the, the oak out to just barely under the screw, because I actually cracked two screws off in this hole, and we had to drill it out and put a dowel in and, and do all kinds of fixing on that. Before I get this all the way in though and lock down, I'm going to have to put in the gauge extension cord because gauges have cords. This is our servo, this little servo, uh, which I have rigged up the original needle from this valve uh, back onto. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the servo mounting plate that I made, uh, uh, milled out on the CNC. Similar to stuff we've done before for a uh, uh, job in uh, Houston for alternate reality. And uh, he will fit in there pretty nicely. And he's gonna need some spacer blocks on the back to keep him held at the right angle. And this will sit flat once that those proper shim blocks are in there. Next piece. This guy here is the original uh, faceplate for this. We're going to recover this with, uh, with our own printing uh, for what our new measurements mean. Because we're not actually doing PSI anymore. And he will go on that away. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see with all the white from the gauge face, but the, uh, the center of our, our gauge is just nicely popping out of there. The needle will go back on top of that, which I'm not going to put on now because I don't have to put it on and take it off a dozen times. Um, next uh, is our zombie bezel. 
It's going to go on there. And next, I just realized I have to cut is a, uh, that's a, I think a six and three quarter inch uh, acrylic or polycarbonate disc that'll act as the new glass on that. And for the magic of editing, this exists basically ex nihilo. Wahahaha. I'm going to go there. And you will come here. And yeah, I think that'll work. Step number next, now that the air compressor has stopped compressing and you can hear me, um, is the addition of this little bit of wackiness. That's too much fun. And for this guy, we are reusing some of the original mounting pieces. Uh, I had to recut some oak that they go onto, but they are uh, original pieces always better. Uh, the electromagnet is installed uh, right behind the handle, as we like to do, because it's stronger. And there's a trough. There's a trough that we cut back behind the face frame, and the wire just slides right into that. Once the wire goes in, I've got my pieces that I cut out the, for, with uh, all the right holes and standoffs for all of the, uh, the Arduino and for the, uh, the proto board. And there's another uh, similar custom milled piece for the fan, so everything goes and fits snugly and uh, out of the way of wires and hoses and all that. And now for the door. Where'd the door go? Bah! All right then, and now for the door that I have it in my hand. Because it came with that really cool uh, old gauge that we had, uh, there are two inputs here. We've got one just kind of zip tied off at the moment. So if you want to make it more difficult, you can kind of make this a, a two player required thing. Um, this valve here, uh, if you turn that to the side, that'll shut off the whole thing, and blowing in here will just blow straight out there, or try to. But with the valve open, uh, you can have two players just kind of going in sync to keep that needle up with just getting a full quick breath. Um, so you can make it a two-player thing and make it a little harder uh, that way. Uh, this was a fun job. Um, I'm not sure how much we showed you of, of what worked and what didn't, but we had to play a lot with, with different fans uh, to get them to actually turn and generate, uh, generate juice, different blade configurations on those fans. Uh, so this was, this was a fun one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it at least partially as much as we enjoyed making it. And uh, even more, I hope that Todd really enjoys uh, having it, because uh, he has it now. See you all next time.